Hello guys, I'm back with one more video. Today I will show you what you do if some of the key doesn't work. So this Chromebook instance, some key works. As you can see, I'm typing these letters. It works, but when I type the numbers on top, some number works, some doesn't. As you can see, this doesn't work. Zero, one, two, three, four. Most of the key on the top row doesn't work. So I will show you how we can fix it. So first thing we'll do is close the lid. Let me adjust the camera real quick. I'm going to unplug the power cable. First thing we'll do is remove all the screw from the back. Alright, once we do that, just grab one of the corner of the Chromebook and just try to lift it up gently. As you can see, there we go. So, and just leave the top cover one side and leave the back cover one side. This is how the Chromebook looks when you open it. So this is the keyboard cable guys. As you can see, it's a little loose. So I'll, let me zoom it in a bit so I can show you. As you can see, it's not straight. It's just slanted a little bit. This is the battery that So what I'll do is I'll unplug that cable gently. And I'm going to use this tool. Just clean it up a little bit. The cable top cable, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and try to plug it back in. So all we're going to do is unplug it and plug it back in. So it's going to take a little while. There we go. And now what I'm doing is just plugging the keyboard cable back in. I'm not able to plug it in properly, so what I need to do is remove this battery real quick from here and leave it one side. There we go. And now I can just make sure unplug it and push it all the way in, make sure it's all the way in. And then lock it in. Make sure you lock it because otherwise it would come loose again. There we go. That's all we need to do. And now we're going to plug back the battery in. This is the cable for the touchpad. Just in case if the touchpad doesn't work, you need to do the same thing. So let me plug the battery back in. There we go. Once battery is plugged in, you, if you have some kind of tape, this one already had this tape, so I'm going to use this to put it back on top of the um, keyboard cable and the battery cable just in case to secure it so it doesn't come off that easily. If you don't have this, you can use any electric tape that you might have and just apply it on a keyboard cable and the battery cable. Once we do that, once we secure the cables, we're going to plug this back cover in. I'm not going to plug in the screw yet, because I'm going to flip it over and try to turn it on and see if the key works now. Let me try to turn it on. Let's wait. It's on and I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to try to type that one, two, three, four. It was not typing before. Now you can see. Now all the keys are working the way it's supposed to be. That's it, guys. That's all you need to do. Just unplug the keyboard cable and plug it back in. And that would take care of the issue. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back with more videos soon. Thank you.